challenges will be uh, making sure you hit this, this B note and then slowly bending down. Slide 17 to 18 on the B. And then slide from uh, G string 14 to 16, back to 14. Then you got a half step bend. Trills from uh, 14 to 17. Back down to here, and then B minor pentatonic, basically. So on the high E, you got 15, 14. On the B string, you've got that pattern, which is 17, 15, 13. That's 16, 14, 12. On the G, 16, 14, 12 on the D. And then you end it with a... Um, 15 and 14 on the B string. That's your vibrato note is the 14 fret B string. I don't really know the pattern. He just picks the first note really, really fast. Just pick as fast as you can and move your left hand as fast as you can and hit those notes and hopefully it'll all sound fairly decent. So it's a 14 on the B, 13 on the D, 16 on the D, 16 on the G, what is that, 14, 16, and 17? Pinched harmonic G string, G string 12, 14, 16, B, 13, 15, 17, E, same exact frets, come up here to 15, 17, 19. Um, So you've got this pattern here, what is that, 16, 17, 19, slide up, and now you got, is that 20, 20, 19, it's a, it's a finger twister. Your last two notes are G sharp and G, but what I do is I do the G sharp and G from this area. Twenty fret B string, and you just bend a half step up. But dude, you're shaking the string so hard that it's like the 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 no, the tonal center is just I don't even know anymore. Because you've applied that massive wide George Lynch vibrato, it's like it, it doesn't even matter what note you're hitting as long as you shake the shit out of it, it's gonna sound great. <laughs> Flow, wow.